when the inspection and acceptance did their report, actually the contractor was paid up to uh, 150 meters. In fact, the drilling of the bowl was done up to 150 meters, and uh, we can submit the same documents uh, to this committee. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Chair, the, yes, Chair, there is the CC acting CC water here. You would like to input a bit? Yeah, I think that's the one we would like to hear from. Um, thank you, Chair. I'm sitting in for the CC water, and um, in addition to what my colleague has said, the position is that the hydrological um, surveyor advised that we drill up to a maximum of 160, but the contractor uh, drilled even further up to 180. And the contractor is different from the geologist who gave the report. And the geologist is a certified, um, geo um, certified professional whose license we have attached. So when it reached 180 and the borehole was not yielding, we made a decision to cut our losses and pay for only 100 meters which had been drilled and uh, the balance money to be used for other boreholes, especially after uh, we acquired the parameter, which was uh, almost 100% accurate. So that's the position, Chairman. Yeah, Senator Chilayako, and then we will go back. Yeah, yeah so uh, uh, do I understand the, the Professor Governor to be saying that <clears throat> this is a situation where the law uh, states that uh, the loss falls where it lies. In other words, uh, a contractor acting on professional advice did even beyond what he was contracted or she was contracted. And the Kenya Medical Association is speaking, is currently speaking on the industrial uh, strike that's, in, that's intended to be taken by the healthcare workers. So let's.